Man claiming to be the world's oldest finally dies. On April 30th, 2017, an Indonesian man who may have been the oldest known person to have ever lived passed away at his home in central Java. He is thought to have been 146 years old. He was Sodi Mejo Gotho, known to his family as Grandpa Gotho. His national ID card, the kind every Indonesian citizen carries, states Gotho's birth as December 31st, 1870. However, official Indonesian birth records only go back to 1900, so there's some controversy over the family's claim that he reached 146 years. Still, the Indonesian government says additional documents and earlier interviews with Gotho have satisfied them that his birth date is accurate. If an additional independent source is found to verify the Gotho family's claim, Grandad may be able to posthumously cement his status as the oldest human to have ever lived with a Guinness World's Record entry. Record holder or not, Gotho certainly was old. He was also a lifelong chain smoker and much loved in his town as a master storyteller, often regaling people with tales of battles against Dutch and Japanese colonizers. Grandpa Gotho's long life saw him married four times and sire many, many children. He outlived them all. In his twilight years, he lived with his great-grandchildren. In an interview with the Jakarta Post in 2016, Gotho claimed the key to his longevity was patience. But even patience inevitably runs out, and on April 12th, Gotha was taken to the hospital where he remained for six days. He returned home, but his health never fully recovered. Twelve days later, he passed away, surrounded by friends and family. If his age is verified, Gotha will snatch the longevity crown from French woman Jean Clamet, who lived to be 122 years old. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Want more extreme feats? These people all took it to the limit. The world's oldest living conjoined twins are set to break the age record on their 63rd birthday. Happy, very happy, happy and very stoked. Let's meet the 62-year-old brothers, Donnie and Ronnie Gallian, who are preparing to celebrate a massive milestone. This October, they'll have their 63rd birthday. So for have a male of their type of twins to survive this long, it, it's unheard of. The Galleon brothers are the oldest living set of conjoined twins in the world. They've already lived longer than the second oldest conjoined twins in history, Thai brothers Chang and Ang Bunker, who died at 62 years old in 1874. And they are fast approaching the record held by Italian brothers Giacomo and Giovanni Battista Tocchi. Dr. Glenn Quaid, who has been observing the pair for two decades, was also surprised by the chemistry between the pair. You know, I, I remember the first time I saw him, the thing that mo amazed me most was tying a shoe. So Ronnie's left hand and Donnie's right hand would tie a shoe. And that, just that ability to coordinate is amazing. When walking, the bros have to take turn going backwards. For more than six decades, Donnie and Ronnie have faced challenges dealing with everyday tasks, forcing them to perfect the art of physical cooperation and compromise in all aspects of life. It wasn't easy for them to achieve the balance they have today. The Galleons were born in Dayton, Ohio on October 28, 1951. They were joined from the sternum to the groin and shared a single set of male organs. When their parents, Mr. and Mrs. Wesley Gallion, were informed that one of their twins might die during the separation operation, the couple determined that they would never separate the brothers. The twins started their rock star lifestyle at the age of four. They performed magic tricks at carnival sideshows in the U.S. and circuses throughout Central and South America. It also allowed them to give back to their parents and support their family of 11. They retired in 1991 at age 39. Inevitably, the duo occasionally fight over tiny things, such as which TV channel they want to watch, but they still share some hobbies too. They're living life. They're going out watching the football games, the baseball games, being part of the neighborhood again. In 2010, they moved in with their younger brother Jim after Ronnie suffered from a viral infection which caused blood clots in his lungs. However, the twins are expected to make it into the Guinness Book of World Records when they become the world's longest living conjoined twins upon turning 63 in October. That's fantastic! Former world's heaviest man, Mexican Manuel Uribe, dies age 48. Mexican man Manuel Uribe, once the world's heaviest human being, has died at the age of 48. In recent years, Uribe had slimmed down from his Guinness World Record weight of 1,230 pounds to around 850 pounds. His death was confirmed on Monday by health officials from Nuevo Leon State. 
where his hometown of Monterey was located. Uribe had been confined to a specially constructed bed for many years as he was unable to walk. He married second wife Claudia Solis in 2008, on one of the few occasions he had left his home in recent years. He was taken to hospital using a crane earlier this month, suffering from an abnormal heartbeat. Doctors have yet to certify the cause of death. Engineering students' electric motorbike shatters world record. University of Denver student Eva Hackinson just broke the world record for motorcycle speed in a vehicle she handmade. The Sweden-born woman and her husband built the motorcycle, nicknamed Kilojoule, in their garage on a tight budget. But Eva's Kilojoule doesn't look or move like a budget bike. The sleek 19-foot vehicle uses a 500-horsepower motor, which is better than a Jaguar or a Porsche. Instead of a gas tank, it runs on a battery that weighs in at 300 pounds. And it requires two parachutes to slow down from its record speed of 242 miles per hour. Eva spent five years building the eco-friendly Kilojoule, which she says is just a hobby project. Impressive hobby, it goes faster than a high-speed bullet train. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Perlan 2 glider to attempt to break world record flight. An Oregon nonprofit is on the verge of sending the first aircraft to sustained flight at 90,000 feet, higher than any other wingborne vehicle has flown. In 2002, the Perlan project embarked on a mission to send an aircraft far into the stratosphere to harvest data about Earth's atmosphere and ozone layer. At 90,000 feet, temperatures dip to minus 70 degrees Celsius, and air density is just 2% of air density at sea level, conditions similar to those on the surface of Mars. The nonprofit developed the Perlan 2, a purpose-built pressurized high-altitude glider that it hopes can sustain high stratospheric conditions. The Perlan 2 will carry scientific instruments and a crew of two in a pressurized cabin. The aircraft has a gross weight of 1,800 pounds and a wingspan of 84 feet. Its flight speed at 90,000 feet will be around 403 miles per hour. The Perlan 2 uses the thrust from atmospheric mountain wind in order to stay aloft. There are three kinds of mountain winds. A ridge lift is created by winds blowing over mountains, hills, or other ridges. Air is deflected upward, forming a band of lift. Gliders on this wind stay close to the ridge. Thermals are columns of air created from the heat rising from Earth's surface. As sun heats up air, it becomes less dense and rises. As the air rises, it is cooled in higher altitudes and sinks. A thermal is created when there is uneven heating of the Earth's surface, creating columns of hot air. A wave lift is similar to a ridge lift, but it is created on the leeward side of the peak. It requires constant winds that increase in velocity at higher altitudes. The winds are uplifted by turbulent rotors, formed by the effects of thermal columns. The Perlan 2 will use all three winds to reach 90,000 feet to sustain flight on a wave lift. Studies have found that the polar vortex and polar night jet, existing only in winter, provide the high-speed wind in the stratosphere that power incredibly high waves, those needed to fly the Perlan 2. The Perlan 2 is slated to attempt the feat sometime this year.